Good morning. Welcome to a hot July day in northern New York. Gravestone Pros. I'm Kurt. And uh, you're going to come along today. We're going to be doing some uh, lettering in cemeteries, adding death dates, and also uh, putting bronze plaques, which are, uh, or military plaques. So when someone passes, our government provides uh, a type of marker, and a lot of people choose the bronze plaques. So you're going to come along today with that and uh, get to see how that's done. The sun's moving fast. The sun's moving fast. That thing is getting me. We're trying to be all fancy and have a umbrella, but you gotta have somebody that knows the direction that the sun's headed and how fast it's headed because, yeah, you get it. It's not real often yet in my experience that I'm doing stones or dates for people that I know. It happens, but not too often. But this date uh, was, is for a person that was a neighbor for many years, had a business close to us, a neighbor in that way, business neighbor. Spent many a, many a time stopping and to ask a question and I'm a talker and he was a talker and so a lot of talking happened. He was a motorcycle rider. Go down our side road testing out motorcycles. He liked speed. Uh, he talked that he would talk about trailering bikes down to uh, West Virginia and down in there in the uh, Blue Ridge Mountains, they'd go down there and ride that, I think, whatever the road is down there, the highway, that is, motorcyclists love that curvy, 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 but apparently it's also very dangerous, because it's guys, guys go down there that think they are uh, very experienced riders and they find themselves coming too fast into corners. Some of them find themselves meeting Jesus face to face when they didn't expect it. Putting death dates on is not an exact science because you're working on somebody else's work. You're completing what they started. Some things are cut by machine, the stencil. Those that are cut by hand are, uh, there's, let's just say there's a lot of variables. Some you can't tell, because some of these guys were very good at what they did. The guys that first taught me the basics could uh, 
they could cut yeah. by hand like a machine could cut. I've been cutting dates since they were 10, 12 years old. <coughs> to them, it was like just common. Lettering's done. We start with mineral spirits, and that cuts the the, uh, the glue, cuts the power of the glue, dissolves it. And then we scrub. When the glue's all gone, then we rinse with water. All right, so we're working on bronze black today, and we had an issue before, and today I'm reminded of it. So today we're going to do a little bit of research and uh, see if I can prove my my point. I have a hammer drill, and the tip on this. I don't want to touch it. It's hot. I've been hammering it. Uh, the tip on it is a little bit scored or uh, scorched, so that weakens uh, it, its uh, cutting ability some. But this hammer drill, I've got two of these. I like them; they work good, but they lose their punch after so many times of uh, getting their, their work. Good thing I was a food service major. This is a cake decorating tool. Otherwise, I would not have known about it. It's called a pastry bag.
All right, well, thanks for coming along today. Today we did a couple of lettering jobs and uh, you got to see bronze plaque installed. Those bronze plaques come uh, courtesy of you uh, through the government. Anybody that served in the military gets uh, a different type of markers that they can have but once they pass away. So a lot of people opt for the bronze plaque and it goes on the back. But thanks so much for coming along. Happy to have you subscribe, hit like, and uh, support us. and. Uh, Help us get this channel to grow.